The Pentagon is developing hypersonic missiles and hypersonic fighter jets with the help of Elon Musk's SpaceX technology. The U.S. military is was working on the space-based hypersonic technology to keep up with China and Russia. The move could pave the way for the company to one day send humans to Mars. The U.S. has carried out three successful tests as part of their hypersonic weapon development. At NASA's Wallops Island spaceport in Virginia, prototype hypersonic rocket parts were tested. However, the main issue preventing the development of the Son of Blackbird project is the lack of a sufficient power plant. The fact is that a hypersonic airplane and hypersonic missile both have the same issue. Except for a rocket, which can only travel in one direction, flight occurs at speeds between subsonic, supersonic, and hypersonic. It moves in the same direction as its primary route for all maneuvers, gradually picking up speed. Consequently, implementing several flight stages here is straightforward. The rocket is propelled to supersonic velocity by one engine, which is followed by another that increases the rate of propulsion until it reaches hypersonic velocity. As an alternative, the Russian Aerospace Forces use an acceleration device mounted to the base of a supersonic aircraft. However, a hypersonic aircraft needs to be able to maneuver, change altitude, and most crucially, change its direction of flight in addition to being able to take off and land. What steps can be taken to address this problem? Recall that a B-52 strategic bomber assisted in the launch of the first manned hypersonic aircraft, the KH-15, which flew in suborbital space at a speed of Mach 6.7. For the State Route 72, such a technology is not an option, hence the aircraft needs a power source that can function at a variety of speeds, from subsonic to hypersonic. A mixed-cycle propulsion system that Lockheed and Aerojet Rocketdyne created at the project's beginning was a significant achievement. The complex features a ramjet engine for a hypersonic mode that begins and generates thrust by sucking air while traveling at supersonic speeds, as well as a turbojet engine for operating at speeds below Mach 3. Instead of just a rocket, the SR-72 can be regarded an airplane thanks to its combined cycle power plant. Additionally, turbojet and ramjet engines can share the same air intake and exhaust nozzles. This is a crucial distinction because an aircraft's configuration cannot be changed while it is in flight. Lockheed Martin Management has asked for $1 billion to implement this idea and create a prototype, with the option of further funding. Elon Musk acquired knowledge of this and, as is customary for him, proposed to construct a power plant for a substantially lower cost. This man is an absolute genius when it comes to project management, and he also has the best engineering team. The Raptor engines, which are regarded as the best rocket engines in human history, serve as evidence for this. The Raptor is a wonderfully inventive invention. Take notice that the Raptor employs SX-500 alloy, which was developed especially for it by SpaceX engineers. To make Musk's proposal even more compelling, he suggested that the Pentagon solve the problem of the SR-72 aircraft's skin at the same time. The SX-500 will undoubtedly be useful when creating a power plant for the SR-72 aircraft, so we are waiting for another unique unit, which we will definitely be telling you about in the future. Due to the process of surface plasma production, which occurs when air molecules collide in the atmosphere at speeds more than Mach 5, the majority of known metals, alloys, and composite materials cannot endure the temperature that develops at hypersonic speeds. This simply means, this indicates that the air resistance and temperature of different areas of the aircraft's skin increase as speed increases. The similar issue arose when building the Starship, but Musk forewent costly materials at the time and had SpaceX engineers use regular stainless steel in instead of composites, which cost $200 per square foot. 
the cost of which is over a hundred times less, and a straightforward and dependable cooling system was created for essential portions of the aircraft construction. Yes, genius lies in both the capacity to apply straightforward technical solutions as well as the ability to produce super alloys and materials. The addition of autonomous flying and remote control functions to the aircraft will help the State Route 72 project. Hypersonic speed can be dangerous for the pilot, yet, there have been instances where the human body has managed such an overload for a brief period of time. The SR-72's projected missions call for lengthy flight periods, hence the aircraft must be capable of taking off and landing without a pilot. As a conclusion, we point out that Musk's participation in military initiatives indicates a tendency of increased military spending. Among the companies involved in various projects, SpaceX is not the only one that can draw the attention of the Pentagon. The orbiting plane was built by Virgin Galactic, while the new Shepard aircraft was constructed by the private aerospace corporation Blue Origin. This means that we will definitely be talking about the brand new, highly intriguing military aircraft that are waiting for us up ahead. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos. Thanks for watching.